What's up, everybody? Today we are here with my boy, WT. This is actually a, a man that I met um, about a few weeks ago, and we just kind of hit it off real quick right away. He's just an absolutely great guy. He did a, a great giveaway, great community man. He's he's a big part of the, the Guild of Guardians community, and I consider him a good friend of mine. Uh, he did a 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. Uh, he's always giving back to the community. He's always pumping up the community. He does these amazing things like uh, you know price checks and letting you know where we're sitting, what's gone up, what's gone down. He's doing incredible work for the community. So he does the hard work that you don't have to do. This is my boy, WT. What's going on, buddy? Uh, yo, tell us more about yourself, man. Tell us about yourself. Hey, Bruno. How you doing? What's uh, up, man? Yeah, my name is... Uh, I go by WT. I've been with the Guild of Guardians community. Uh, started lurking around the game late February. Jumped in their Discord on March the 3rd when they launched it. Was lurking for a little bit in their Discord and just kind of did my homework and research and the pieces... Just kind of felt right, looked right, smelled right, and I jumped all in and just been hanging out ever since. And it's uh, it's been a wild. I can't believe we're going on almost ten months here in the community. It's it's been wild and fun, and almost exhausting at times, but at the same time, it's been fun. Dude, it's been awesome, man. So, um, I mean, we've got to hang out a bit because, you know, I, uh, for those that don't know who I am, my name is Bruno or Capone Gaming, Capone, whatever. And I'm a full time Twitch streamer. So that's my main content. And then I do videos like this on, the, you know, on YouTube and stuff. And I, I definitely want to get involved as well. I know you're very involved, like you said, with the community. I want to get involved with the community as well. And yeah, you know what? And I'm in the same boat as you. It's like, you find out about this this project. It's almost a curse and a blessing when you find it so early because, you know, you get in on it and then it's like, you just, it, it, you know, you're, I'm obsessed with it. I'm always checking the, the, the markets and I'm always, you know, I'm always trying to keep up to date with it and I, and I absolutely love it. So it's, it's a blessing to be in so early, but it's a curse because you got to wait the longest to actually get it, your hands on it and play. So, uh, yeah, man, I mean, I mean, I'm super excited for this. Um, is this your first project you've ever been involved with? Is this the first, you know, uh, game or whatever? Uh, to this extent. Yeah. Um, before this, I was doing videos for a game called Marvel strike force. Mm. And I did not have the level of commitment and just full on jumping in like this. But this one, uh, it's one of those things. You just you get into something and you kind of you do your homework. You see the logistics part of it, and it makes sense in your head. And then you just kind of you just kind of feel it in your gut. Right. And it was just like, yeah, I, I think I've got something here. So. So I actually know the game you're, you're talking about. I've played that too. And the thing with that game is, I mean, not to get too far off track, but it is, it's, it's a money grab where you don't get anything back for it. You're putting into the game and you're not actually getting anything back where a game like Guild of Guardians, where you're putting into the game, but you're actually, you know, setting yourself up with it, with investments. So to me, it, uh, to me, it just doesn't make sense to invest in games that are just play to advance rather than a game like this where it's play to earn. You're going to put money into this game, Guild of Guardians, and you're potentially going to get something back from it. You know what I mean? Whereas in, in these other games, these other play or free, not free to play, but play to win games, you're putting in just to advance yourself in the game. And you're not getting anything back for it. So I think games like Guild of Guardians are, the, are is the future because people that see that, they're going to be like, yo, why why am I putting it this into something that I'm not getting anything back from when I can actually you know kind of be an investment? So uh, yeah, I've, I've played Marvel Strike Force. I know what you're talking about with that game, and it's, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely... Um, Glad to, to have uh, to be a part of this one though, and, and I see that sweater you're wearing, man. And, and uh, every time I see someone rock that sweater, I know I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. I'm, every time I see it, I'm like, I got to get me one of those, man. I don't know where to get that stuff, but I got to get me one of those, man. I tell you. So um, can't get them right now. You can't get them. They only sold a a small handful of them uh, back then, and they were considered. It says, you can't really see it on here, but it says founders. Right. So uh, you know you have to go to like uh, eBay or something to get these. I'm not selling mine. I only got I only got one sweater, one T-shirt. I should have got more. I yeah. didn't think about it. Like I'm always gonna be like charcoal gray. I don't have any other colors unless I go <laughs> probably pay through the roof on eBay for one of these. I, I don't I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. So so we were talking about how you you know you do the um, you do like the price checks and stuff every day. So I want I want to get into that a little bit because it's like here's the thing. Okay, I see these prices. I didn't get into the you obviously you got into the founders uh, you got into the founders sale right. So yes. I missed it. So I actually found out about the game. I think it was the day before <clears throat> or the day of, of the founder sale. So I watched the sale go down, but I wasn't set up for it. I didn't have, you know, all the, everything ready. I was just, I was there watching it just going and I, I want to be invested in this game. So I missed the founder sale. So we're, we're looking at all the prices and you're seeing where they are now. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think there's, there's got to, I don't know. Do you think there's going to be a correction? Like, how do you think it's going to go with the, with these, with these prices? Because they've already two, three times. And we're still almost a year away till the game comes out. How much more can these 
how where can these prices go before release? Is you know obviously there's no there's no way to know exactly, but it's like where can these prices go if they're already at, you know we're we're looking at you know point one point three uh, ETH for for characters right now. What is it going to look like in in you know by release when the hype is even more? There's more hype, right? Um, boy, that's I wish I could say mm -hmm. I think they're going to come way down, but I did a. a a uh, little uh, blog post, and I, I I remember putting the the metaphor just kind of clicked in my head. I worked for a train company for like three years, so it just popped in my head. I was just like, uh, I said something like, "The first whistle's blowing," and that train conductor's got that look in his eye of "hurry up." And it, I, I got lucky on the timing. I I posted that, and I think like two days later, the prices went nuts. Mm -hmm. So I got lucky on that timing, and I think we'll see a small retracement here soon. Uh, we've already seen the last three days the volume and uh, all three sales of heroes, pets, or other. They've come down a little bit uh, due to the lack of volume, I think. And there's a lot of psychology involved with this and the crypto space, NFT space. They get impatient sometimes. And if things aren't pumping, 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 it kind of goes sideways. And then you might get some correction, which I think is healthy. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to happen. I've, I've already seen some dips and some prices. I am... I've been saying this when they launch a hard date, I think we're going to see another pump. Yeah. Uh, I've only got a small sample size to go off of, but the sandbox game is what my, I first got me into NFTs and I got back into that uh, super early February and the prices were, you know, a little pump here, then it would retrace a little pump here, retrace it. It didn't go crazy, but when they announced the hard date for the sandbox game, I think it was, uh, November 29th or something like that. I think it was, or no, maybe it was October. I forget. I got, I got old man brain here. <laughs> but uh, when they announced that date within a month, their price on their coin, the sand token, it went from like 70 to 80 cents and it peaked at like $8 and 10 cents within a month, mm -hmm. within a month. And all their assets went through the roof, right. uh, especially land. Land went from like roughly 800 to a thousand bucks to get a piece of land up to, and I've seen it, I've personally seen it, I've seen the land sale one piece for over 40 grand. Crazy. So that was when they said, hey, we're doing this alpha. Since the alpha's passed, it's retraced some. It's just, there's a lot of psychology to this. So when GOG announces a hard date, I expect another hard pump. And I'm noticing a lot more big influencers in the YouTube space, the Twitch space, are coming around now. Right. I've noticed it in the last two weeks. I'm seeing all these big names. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a big name coming on tonight to talk with a team. Uh, what the heck is uh Bryant? Yeah, Eastern I saw the, uh, the tweet. Yep, yep. Yeah, he, I mean, he he's always around. He's a big in the space. And then, you know, I see him lurking around. I see the Schiller lurking, lurking around mm -hmm. now. It's like, you can just, you can smell, you can smell the hype, you know? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's, that's, that's huge because, uh, you know, it's, it's getting more eyes on the because a lot of people just don't know about it. That's that's the truth. Right. It's just people don't know until they know. So, you know, like I say, I, I'm, a, I'm a streamer myself. My community had no idea what Guild of Guardians was. They had no idea. And so I started talking about it and they're like, well, what is that? And they start asking questions and then it's it goes from there. They start doing their research, you know, and it's just that's how it works. So, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's huge. Now. Um, I want to talk about, speaking of prices and stuff, there was the, the mythic guild sold for something like 147, $148,000. There was a, a mythic character that sold for something like 73, $74,000. Um, what are your thoughts on, what are your thoughts on that? Cause th that's just cause cosmetics, right? Uh, well, you said well, the, the guild, the guild, the guild is the guild. Sorry. Yeah. The character is just cosmetics, but the guild, I mean, what are your thoughts on the guild selling for, uh, that much and the character selling for that much? Okay, so let's hit the guild first. Uh, uh, Mythic guilds, when they first came out, the original price was eighty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and then every time a sale would take place, it would just it would appreciate up. So, the first guild sold for eighty thousand. The last guild sold for a hundred thousand. There's only ten total of those mythic sold. So right now, to get a mythic guild, you need about a million bucks to get a mythic guild right now, yeah. and that's the the very highest scarcity, highest exclusive guild to get recently what sold was the step down the legendary guild you can only have 40 people in those versus the 50 in the mythic guild and in the mythic guild the cut that you get is 10 percent of anything that goes on in that guild that can be sold 
the head honcho who owns it gets 10% mm -hmm. of that sale. Mm -hmm. The legendary guild, I believe, is 5%. Uh, I got to double check on that, but I think it's 5%. And that one just sold recently for 147 grand. Oh, so yeah, did I say mythic? Only... Sorry, my bad. My bad. Yeah, I meant legendary. No, no, no. Sorry, my bad. My bad. No, it's it's very confusing <laughs> to have all this. The only reason <laughs> this has been like a second time job for me. That's the only reason why I know this stuff. So don't worry about it, man. But the legendary guild, the big thing about that is you had to pay way more to get less. And that for me is just like <laughs> if it, that's not a bullish indicator for you, I don't know what it is. Right, right, right. Actually, I want to. I'm glad you brought that up. So the whole guild system, okay? So what is it? Adventurers Guild is the bottom, right? And that's a one yes. percent fee. And there's uh, 20 mm -hmm. members, okay? And then the Mythic Guild, it's 50 members with a 10 percent fee. Now, I don't know if I'm missing something here. What are your thoughts on that? Because um, you off the bat, and I understand, and I get, I totally get that the guild leader should get the percentage. I, you know, they put the money up front. I totally agree with that. But now, what are the pros and cons now to being in a Mythic Guild? Or say you want to be in an adventures guild. Is there a way to make more passive income being in an adventures guild because you're only paying that 1% uh, fee rather than a 10%? You're losing 10% right off the bat. So what are the pros and cons, I guess, is what I'm trying to ask. If you're in an adventures guild or a mythic guild, what would, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I know it sounds better to be in the mythic guild. There's 50 members, probably more people putting in the pot, but it's also more people pulling out. So if you have 20 people and you're only losing 1%, I mean, I don't see the... I don't see the downfall in that. Like, I, I don't see the disadvantage of being in the Adventurers Guild. Yeah, um, I've heard a couple of good positives about being in a smaller guild. Hmm. Uh, one of them specifically is you have a lot less chance for in-game drama, which somehow sure. somebody always <laughs> seems to pop up. You know, right. the more people you get, the more chance you get right. to have a loose cannon in your crew. Um, you know, and you kind of get a, a tight-knit camaraderie going. But we don't know yet. This is like, this has come up, this question of like, what's better to be in? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know for sure until we actually get the, you know, brass tacks down to the ground. But just from speculation, um, you have, with a Mythic Guild, you're going to have that more many people in to put in the pot, like you said. And it's all about these recipes that we don't know a whole lot right. about, but you got to get these recipes. And so... From what I've seen, the the people with assets and AKA the whales maybe are pushing towards these mythic guilds. So they're gonna have the the assets to go after this higher content, which is gonna get you more resources, possibly uh, quicker access to these recipes. And you'll be able to turn and burn sales more often, which should translate into the people in that guild making more money one would think one right. would think but we don't know for sure yet but back to the adventure guilds which is 30 less people 20 um that it could be something where you're able to maybe get more people involved into the raid system like you can only bring 16 people in the raid for now that we know of so i think it's 16 it's either 15 or 16 and so the majority of your guild can get in Right. Whereas if it stays that way with Mythic, only sixteen or people are sixteen people are getting in, and there's fifty total. Mm -hmm. So you might not be be able to participate in some of those. So it's a there's a lot of uncertainty with that. Right. We have to wait and see how that works out. Yeah, and speaking about the uncertainty, that's that's another question I have too. It's like, are, do you think the team is being transparent enough with? everything we don't even know what the heroes do we don't know what the profile pictures do we don't know there's so many questions i feel like we need answers and i you know I, and I'm, I'm the same way it's like you're, you're i'm looking at the market i'm looking at these heroes and i want first of all i want all of them I've, i have a problem right now where i just i want everything i just can't <laughs> stop looking at this market uh you know i just i have this problem but it's like i don't even know what they do so here i am looking at these characters that i want to pick up and it's like i don't even know what they do i don't know their abilities i don't know their their moves these profile pictures do i get one do i not are they just for that that giveaway is there is there future you know uh, investment part with like are they going to put you into some draws like what's going on we don't know right so i feel like i feel like um you know is it a tactic that they have that it's like making okay well i gotta pick up everything just in case or do you think they need to be more transparent about things um i'm in several projects in this space and the one thing i will say about guild of guardians so far compared to every other project i've been in they are by far uh top three 
most transparent I have dealt with. Um, mm -hmm. Most most transparent, um, fulfilling their promises, For whatever sure. they say, yeah. they have pretty much done. When they've made mistakes, they've come out and said, hey, we messed up, and they've done things to make it more tolerable or to take some away some of the sting. And I can only say that about three of the projects I'm in right now out of the many. I'm in too many projects, but <laughs> it gives me a good sample size. And they, they've been pretty good without giving away the farm. I, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah. And I, I know I know what you're talking about. And, yeah, they got their hooks in you. So my, my sure. answer is you get them all. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm telling you, man, I, I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm always I'm always looking like I even I'm, I even have the market up right now. I'm talking to you, man. I'm always just looking at it. You know, it's just like it's in my face. So, uh, yeah, I started with, you know, uh, I did the first video and I only had like three. I had like one character and an energy booster. And like that was it. And then now I'm at like, you know, five characters and a few pets and, you know, like, it's just, I can't stop looking at it. I just, I need everything. I need everything. So, uh, what, for you, what, what kind of, um, what faction are you look, uh, looking forward to playing? What's the one you want to play the most? Uh, well, we don't know if it's even going to matter yet, unfortunately. So <laughs> I've always been empire and I've always said since the beginning, if you want to be a winner, you got to be in the empire. There you go. It's a little inside joke from back in the day when we first started all this, there was a big competition between all factions and it got a little heated. So I was uh, pushing that pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I, I want to play the characters that are going to give me the best results. And um, I, I, you know, full disclosure, I have, I have just about every hero. Or no, I do have every hero. The only one I'm missing right now is Onyx. I need to still need to get Onyx. I've been waiting for that price to come down a little bit. Yeah, that and, one's uh, that one's definitely. Uh, people are definitely have their eye on that one. They, uh, a lot of people want it. It's crazy, you know. They but uh, <laughs> you were asking about, you know, we don't know what these heroes do and stuff like that. Yeah, we don't. There's, this is all speculation. And uh, the last podcast I did, they put a pu pu uh, puzzle piece together for me for some reason. There's a lot of hatred going towards uh, people without hair, and those ones are <laughs> suffering the most. It's the hair shaming or lack of hair shaming going on in this community. <laughs> it makes me sick, you know. But uh, yeah, people don't know. We don't know. Like we don't know what the meta is going to be. Right. And so, I, I, I use this example: if you got two pieces of silver and one is just a flat piece of silver, nothing on it, and then you got another piece of silver, it's got like a Canadian maple leaf or a silver eagle on it. If they're the same price, which one are you going to pick? Right, right. You're going to take the pretty one. Right. We're, we're at that scenario right now. We don't know. Yeah. And so people are psychologically grabbing the pretty ones. And that's just human nature. And uh, that's where we're seeing some of these higher prices for whatever reason. Yeah, I, I, I think the, the profile pictures look awesome. I mean, they, they actually do look pretty awesome, man. And uh, I, I, I didn't get one myself. I wish I did. Uh, man, I wish I got my hands on those, but yeah, they, they look awesome. They look absolutely amazing. And just, I mean, I would love to rock it everywhere. I'd put that as all my profile pictures, you know, Instagram, you know, TikTok, Twitter, all that stuff, man. I'd rock it. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So I, I want to talk about the energy boosters a little bit too, before, you know, get off, to, off track. So I think these personally, I think these are, well, I mean, here, okay, here's a few scenarios. One, I think these are very under, again, we don't know exactly what they do. That's, that's, you know, one thing, but I think they're right now they're undervalued. I mean, I think these things are. They're going to be massive. Now, I know they said they were going to put more boosters in. There's going to be like a version two or wave two, whatever you want to call it, but they're never going to be as good. Now, here's the thing is they say they're never going to be as good, but how close is it going to be? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, here's, this is, these are all these questions that we have that it's like, are they going to say, well, it's not as good, but it's like just a tiny bit under, you know? And then what is that going to do to the prices of these ones? Is it going to bring it down? Is it going to, you know, and, but as of where it sits right now, like how many of those are going to be released? You know, but I think, I think. Uh, these are so undervalued right now. I think, uh, I mean, these have so much room to grow. Um, how important, like, personally, I think, you know, to be in a mythic guild, I think there's going to be a lot of requirements. You're going to need legendary heroes, probably, um, you know, energy boosters, probably going to be a must. Uh, there's these guilds like YGG coming in and, and, uh, there's a, there's a few Blackpool. There's a few guilds that are coming in. Um, now I don't know much. I know YGG. I don't know much about the other ones coming in, but, um, I know but my assumption is, you, they're probably going to let, cause they have other games like Axie and they're in other games like that. They're probably going to get their top earners cause they can't fit everybody. These guys have thousands of people in their guild. So they're probably going to put their top earners in, um, in, uh, you know, the mythic. And then they probably have a few other guilds, um, which is going to bring me to my next, my next part to this with the energy boosters and all that. So, um, one, I think you're going to need an energy booster and two, the Sedalian program. Cause they're probably going to have to rent out all these, you know, people are talking about a Sedalian, pro like a, like a, a sponsorship mm. program. I don't know what you, what you want to call right. it. 
uh, where okay. basically, because that's what YGG and those those companies usually do is they they own all these NFTs and you know energy boosters and and heroes, and then they they lend them out to their um, guild, and then that's how they make their their money off of them, right? So, um, what are your thoughts on the on the on the sponsorship or Sedalian program, whatever you want to call it, the renting out? Do you think that's going to be a major thing in this? Yeah, uh, Guild Guardians has come out and said repeatedly they will support it, uh, but they are not going to be handling it. So right. they're leaving up to third party people, which I think is very smart on their part. That way they can allocate their time and resources towards the game and make sure that the game is running smooth mm-hmm. and all the economy is good. Well, whoever out there can handle the third party stuff. And I'm super hoping for it, super happy about it if that happens. And I think it's necessary because, like you said, there's going to be all these people trying to come in. And unfortunately, at some point, we're probably going to reach that people getting priced out, right. so to speak. And with that third party renting out scholarship, whatever you want to call it, that'll give people the chance to get their feet in the door and work towards getting the assets they want so that they can be independent of having to rent. So I think it's a necessary thing for the entire game and community. And that's not to say that Guild of Guardians isn't going to try and balance out new blood coming into the system because they have said since day one they do not want this to be exclusively paid to win yeah and while i throw i personally throw an asterisk next to that because i don't know how they're going to pull it off completely they have said it repeatedly we want to cater towards the free to play right. community and we want to cater towards the play or uh pay to play play to win community or whatever yeah. you want to call it so yeah. Uh, I take them at their word on it that they're going to absolutely try to do that. Now, how do they pull it off? That's to be seen. That's a, I, I, yeah. It's tough. That's a very, very tough scenario because there, there could be a very big gap. Like I've seen some of these people post their screenshots, you know, like, like, you, know, like you said, you have every hero, right? So it's mm-hmm. like someone coming in and they say they are a free to play game and they're going to be very free to free to play friendly, which, you know, they are going to, you're going to have a free hero to start in. Then you're going to have, um, you're going to be able to earn shards to unlock heroes and, and stuff like that. So there, I think basically what it's going to be, there's going to be the slow path. You're going to be able to get there eventually, but it's just going to be slower or you buy the heroes, the legendaries, and you're going to be able to progress. So it's like pay to progress almost, uh, faster. And then by progressing faster, you're probably going to get the better. I mean, we all don't know, right. But we're going to probably get the better rewards and, and get ahead faster. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, I'm sure as a free to play player, you'll be able to jump in, play, earn some shards, unlock some characters, blend your characters and get there eventually, you know, just take the slower route to it. Now, another thing I was going to say with, with guilds, because now they also said, you know, the, the best way, or I don't know if they said, or we just assume the best way to make the money is through being in a guild, right? That's going to be the, so, Mm -hmm. but is there going to be places for those free to play players? Again, they're going to be kind of held back a little bit because those guilds are going to want people with assets. I feel, um, that can bring more to the table, I guess, in, in, in a way, um, you know, with characters and stuff. So I think that's going to, you know, kind of separate the gap a little bit more uh, if you're free to play. It's like, well, maybe we don't have a spot in our guild for you because there's only so many. Yeah, you're absolutely right uh, about that dynamic. Uh, guild of Guardians, when they first, first put out Wave 1 sale, they put an asterisk in their white paper for the Adventure Guild. So uh, Warrior, Legendary, and Mythic, you'll never see them again. They flat out said, no, never come back. So get them now or you're out with those. Adventure Guilds, they put an asterisk that says, we reserve the right to make more of these down the road if the game requires it. So they put that in because they they honestly didn't know how big this was going to blow up, I don't think. And I take them at their word. And from what I can tell, they were floored at the level of response. You got to remember when this game first got going back in March, the hype for NFTs and NFT gaming, right. it wasn't there. It wasn't there. I mean, right. there was some, but like with the, what's the, the crypto punks or whatever. Mm-hmm. But a couple months later, you had, you know, uh, Board Ape Yop Club getting going. You had the Cyber Kongs and it just, it was like a tsunami of like interest and money and it just got nuts. And so I'm glad they put that asterisk in because uh, I, I use this example and I get laughed at all the time when I say it. I can't see this game not getting 50,000 players. Oh, I agree. 100%. I can't, I can't see it. I can't see it. So I'm using that as my bare minimum of what this game's going to do. And I'm being extremely conservative. I think it's going to be higher, but I'm saying 50 K I'm, I'm totally and with that. With that number alone, 
there's going to be bottlenecks. And so they're going to, I, I anticipate them totally doing more guilds so that more people can get into guilds. Because yes, if you want to maximize how much money potential that you can make while playing and having fun, you're going to need to be in a guild because you need to craft. And the only way to craft the real deal items is in a guild. Now, I heard that there's going to be some other items that you can craft outside of a guild. But from my understanding, and I don't have full details on this yet, they're, they're not going to be, I don't think they're going to be sellable as of yet. And I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But if you want the real deal sellable items to where you can make back some money on your uh, playing and assets, you need to be in a guild. 100%. I agree. I agree. And, and like you say, with the, with the 50,000 uh, players, uh, that's a, to me, that's a very low ball. That's like, uh, I, I could see it triple, double, triple that easily. That, again, like I've, you know, this is a mobile game. This is not, it's not like a, so with a, with a PC, with a PC game, people are, that right there is a bottleneck on its own. Cause that, you know, mm-hmm. not everybody has these like high powered PCs or even has a PC, you know, where everybody has a phone. You heard that meme, right? Everybody has a phone. So, right. um, you know, it's just right there and it's a free to play game. They give you a free to play character. Everything's there for you. Just open your phone, play the game. So I just, that alone opens the door for so many people to just play and even have fun. Now I know everyone looks at this as like, Oh, play to earn, play to earn. But what if people just want to play the game to play the game? Not everyone has to play to earn. People could just play it to have fun. And, and that opens the door for many, many, many more people. So I, I think 50 is a very, very, very low ball. I mean, the game itself looks great. I've seen the footage. The, it looks absolutely incredible on its own. It looks like mm-hmm. a good game. Play to earn or not, it looks like a game I would play. And I'm sure there's many, many, many other people out there with the, with the same view. So, uh, yeah, I I, I, uh, I don't know. I think 50,000 is very low. I, I'm surprised people laugh at that when you say that. I was... I would laugh at that super low, you know? Well, well, no, that's why they're laughing because I, they, they, they think it's going to be much higher, which I do too, but I try to, (laughs) I try to stay grounded and realistic and I don't want to overhype anything Mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, there is money tied to this. And, uh, you know, I, I try to keep a cool head with stuff, even though my, my inner self wants to just explode and have all that (laughs) hype. Uh, but, uh, you know, what, the one thing about this game that has me the most bullish, and I know I'm getting off on a little tangent here, but you were talking about play to earn and uh, all the people wanting to do this and how good the game looks and stuff like this. I've seen the other games, and I'm not here to knock other games. Uh, I'm glad they did what they did because at the end of the day, they're they're the pioneers to get this going. And, like, uh, your Axie Infinity and Alluvium is the two games that come to mind because I did a lot of research on those two games. And... Uh, this is probably the dumbest financial thing I've ever done is I passed on those two when I could have got in at a decent uh, price entry point, but I passed. And the number one reason why I passed on those two is because me as maybe it's my gaming style, whatever, it just didn't look that fun to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it didn't appeal to me. And I watched some streams and stuff. And like, I couldn't envision myself as a streamer doing that game day in and day out and being able to have fun and present that fun, positive energy to my viewers. So with Guild of Guardians, their main thing is making the game fun. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think they're on the right track. They are the first ones out there to say play and earn. Right. And what they mean by this is this isn't specifically a job. Can you make it a job? Sure. Mm-hmm. But you don't have to. You can play this for fun. And while you're playing, you can earn some money at the same time, which has their, been their main goal since the day that they started this because they want to use that model to disrupt the old way of doing games where you get absolutely nothing. All your time, all your money, it's theirs. It's their intellectual property mm-hmm. as they like to conveniently use as a scapegoat for them not re- rewarding you for you participating in their community. Mm-hmm. Whereas here, they're going to reward you while you're having fun. And that is the one thing I've seen with this company that separates them from Axie Infinity, Alluvium, and some of the other companies there. Not that they can't make that eventually, but right now, as is, it's about the fun with this company. I totally agree. And I think that they're genius for play and earn because play to earn, it, that is, it is a job. I've, I've, I've played Axie. I've played these other games and it's like, you're grinding and it's, it, it almost becomes, it's not fun. It's not fun. You're doing it just because you feel like you have to, it's a job at this point and it's not fun where you play and earn that. I, I think that's genius. Cause yeah, you're playing, you're having fun and yeah, you're, you're getting something, some reward back for it. I think that's absolutely genius. I got to say, man, I think this team behind the, behind Guild of Guardians has been nothing short of amazing. I've, I've watched all the AMAs and just seeing how they interact with the community and, 
and they've been absolutely phenomenal. I think the team is is just a bunch of superstars. I think the community, all the people involved, they got uh, O Canada A. I want to give a shout out to them as well. Uh, a bunch of beauties there. I want to give you guys a big shout out. Um, That's you know, name in the in the ecosystem yeah. right now, dude. I'm a Canadian myself, and I, I'm in the disc. <laughs> I'm part of it too, and everything. So I, I think they're a bunch of beauties. I gotta say, man. So big shout out to you guys. Um, you know, for yourself, man, you've been an absolute superstar, Nick, big shout out to, to Nick out there too. Always showing the, all you guys out there, everybody, everybody in this community, uh, GOG Academy. I mean, there's so many people to, to shout out right now. I watch all mm-hmm. your stuff. I watch everything of everybody. I try to support the community myself as well. I want to be involved. I want to help everybody make it in the community. Uh, you know, we're all, we're all here trying to put, to help this project, um, you know, I want to see it succeed because I, I truly believe in this man. And, and it's good to have people like you and, and, and all these other amazing, you know, podcasts and people, everyone just involved that, that truly love it. And are showing the love for it, man. Like my, my Twitter feed is just, uh, taken over. It's all Gilded Guardian stuff. And I love it. You know, <laughs> I love it. So, uh, it's been amazing. Yeah. The community has been, uh, that's another thing that we kind of forget about sometimes is the community of people involved with this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's. It's been an adventure to watch this grow from where we started. I can remember roughly 20 people in the Discord, and they had more numbers, but there was like 20, 20, maybe 20, 30 people. We were all talking, and it was just pretty much us. And like to see where it's come from there to now, and like everybody's kind of doing their own little part. Like whoever is good at what, they're doing their little thing and adding value to the community. And uh, it's been like this synergy almost where. The team has stuff to do besides be involved in Discord and all that. And they go silent for times. And when they're silent, that means they're working. Yeah. And I look at it this way. If we're handling on the ground, keeping the buzz, keeping people engaged, they don't have to worry about that. They can focus on the game. So right. everyone's just kind of naturally picked up that rock and just said, all right, we're going to push this rock for you. You guys will take care of business. We'll be here when you get back. Absolutely. And it's been, it's been fun to watch. It's been absolutely fun to watch. I agree. I agree. The community and, and, and as a, a, you know, like I say, you're, you're a streamer, I'm a streamer. We understand community is everything. Like that's, that's what, you know, you've been, you've been, you're hanging out in my streams too, man. It's always good chat. By the way, I want to say thank you, man. You're always hanging out in the streams and we're always chatting and stuff. He's like, no, absolute beauty, absolute beauty. This man right here. So, um, yeah, like, you know what it's about, man. Like we're all about community, man. That's, that's, you know, and, and, and I've been involved with a couple of projects. This seems to me to be the best community. So much positivity. People like, like you say, man, we're, we're pushing it for us. Yo, you take care of the business side. We got you covered over here. And then, and, and everybody's willing to, to pull on that rock. Like you said, everyone's going to carry that rock for you. You do what you got to do. Don't worry about us. We got you. Um, you know, we, we know you're going to take care of your business on your end and we'll take care of it on, on our end. So absolutely, man. Um, great community, absolutely positive community. Like I said, all the different podcasts and groups and guilds and everything coming up along the way, been nothing short of amazing. And, uh, like I say, man, my, I'm happy to see my Twitter feed the way it is. It's just, I, I can't even stop. It's just Gilded Guardian stuff, man. And, and, uh, you know, I'm getting tagged in everything and it's just, Hey, I'm cool with it, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. So yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, like, like I say, man, so what, okay. So I want to talk about a couple, uh, a, a couple other things too. So we had before we get off track here. So they had um, there's going to be wave two of pets, wave two of heroes, and what do you? Okay, here's another thing, right? Because everyone knows you're going to need a healer. Everyone knows you're going. What are who are the healers? Who do you think are going to be the healers? I think uh, what is it? Um, Leah is it Leah? Mm-hmm. Leah I think is going to be the healer for Empire. Is it Empire? Uh, what do you think nah, about the other one? She's, she's I think or no, she's, she's Glade. Oh, oh. Is she Glade? Glade? Yes, Glade. Glade. Yeah. That's right. That's right. She's Glade. What do you think the healer? Tell me who you think the healer is going to be. Because I know those are going to be sought after. I know. I know Leah is like one of the ones everyone wants. Um, who do you think? Yeah, you got uh, Leah uh, for the Glade. legendaries, and then you've got Priel for the epics. Uh, those are kind of like the Captain Obvious ones. Mm-hmm. And then we were talking about like we don't really know who the rare one is. If there is one, uh, boy, it's it's. There could be a couple of them. Yeah, right. there's they've got the you know support characters that you know maybe they won't be a straight out bait your typical right. just all I do is heal. Maybe they're like I have an aura that heals a little bit on the fly, but they can do damage. Right. We don't know all that yet, but for sure it looks like Priel, Leah, maybe uh I don't know if it's spelled uh pronounced Elohad or Elohat. He might he or she whatever it is. I don't mm-hmm. know. Maybe he doesn't have a gender. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> maybe that uh, hero is able to heal. Um, I'm trying to think of any other ones off the top of my head. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I think those are like the ones that for sure I could see being healers right off the top of my head. What's what's which one are you? What are you excited to play? Are you are you a melee kind of guy? Are you a tank? Are you a caster? Are you a healer? What do you play usually in these kind of games, if any at all? Uh, if you've ever done these. Honestly, I am a terrible gamer. <laughs> I'm terrible. And as I've gotten older, I've gotten even worse. I don't know how that's even possible. But you and me both, buddy. We're in the so, same boat. I have found my niche a long time ago. So I am not a damage dealer. I'm not into hurting people. Mm -hmm. I If you got wounds or you're just feeling down, I'm going to pick you up, baby. I'm going to take care of you. But nice. if someone needs defense, I will stand there and I will take a punch for you. So I can play a tank. Or a healer. That's how I play. See, I need you on my team, man. I need you to play with me. That's I'm I, I you know I'm always those guys. I like to run in and just damage everything. I just like to take everyone out, man. Two handed sword. So so for me, <clears throat> excuse me. When I saw the reborn character, I was like, this is my guy. <clears throat> excuse me. I was like, this is what I I got to get. Reborn's my guy. That's my kind of character I like. So when uh, the energy hero came out, I was like, this is it. I need this. And and you know we talked about me. You and I had this. I was like, I need to get this hero. I need to get this hero. So uh, I did eventually get him. I did buy him. So. Uh, yeah, that's so. That's that's always been my 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 type of characters is run in damage and 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 kind of thing. So he's uh, I think he's undervalued. I mean, a lot of people are focused on that. There was five thousand of him made compared to the other legendaries. The other legendaries about a thousand ish of them made, but there's eight of them. He's all kind of on his own little island. And yeah, there's five thousand, but I don't think you can go wrong with getting him for right now. You can get him roughly anywhere from like three hundred fifty to four hundred fifty bucks USD right now, uh, and. I think his value goes up again, the bottleneck and people are going to want access to a legendary yep. just for the stats alone. He yep. does look cool. He is the first, uh, mainstream tied hero. That's never been done before. He's tied to an actual mainstream company. Absolutely. So that in itself, I think gives it a little bit of value. There might be some like, Hey, this was the first who knows, you know? So, I, I like that choice. I totally agree. I actually totally agree. I think, you know, just the fact that just he's, he has a 30% more stats. He's a legendary hero. Everyone's going to eventually need these heroes. And, you know, the floor on all these other ones are like a thousand bucks. You're getting it for a third the price, you know, close to a third the price. You have your legendary hero, uh, you know. Uh, to me, it just, it doesn't make sense. Yes, like you said, for, if you're looking at rarity, but take that out of the equation. Think of utility, you know, utility. Take rarity and all that stuff out of there. Utility. This is a DPS, melee character, legendary, 30% stats, and how can it be this cheap? Uh, you gotta, I, for me, like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, there's, okay, there's 5,000. Sure, who cares? Who cares if there's a million of them? The utility of it is that good. So you buy the utility, not the rarity factor. You know what I mean? And, and uh, yep. to me, it's, I think it's way undervalued. Like way, I, I think this thing could 3X easily, easily. Mm -hmm. My personal opinion, not financial advice, personal opinion. I think it could 3X. Now, um, speaking of NRG, is there any talks of them having a team that's going to be playing the game or are they, cause you know, they're talking about, you know, they're part of the game. They're, they're an esports team that is, you know, connected to the game. Is there any talk of them even like being a part of it, playing it, or is it just kind of like a, a kind of like a business thing and then kind of have fun? Uh, honestly, no, uh, we have not heard much from energy. Uh, I've been stalking them for months <laughs> to see if they were going to say anything about this sale at all whatsoever. And they've, barely said anything mm -hmm. that being said there is a huge uh very visceral uh thing in the community between nft games and regular gamers mm -hmm. i don't know if it's like stockholm syndrome or or what because they a majority of those mainstream game player, gamers they absolutely hate this concept they they hate it and i it's unfortunate because i think they're missing out on a massive opportunity to still be able to play, but get some respect back from these companies. That being said, I believe NRG sees the future mm -hmm. and they're trying to slowly integrate this into their community. They can't just do it all at once because they're right. they'll, they'll they'll piss off their community and they'll take off. So they're just I think they're gonna do it like in quick little doses, which is strategic on their part. They mm -hmm. they they see the the toxicity and I hate that word. I can't believe I just used that. <laughs> oh. I just used it. Ah oh. No. Anyway, they I'll beep it, it out. No, just, <laughs> no. <laughs> just joking. I think I think it's overplayed. I think it's yeah. overplayed. Yeah. Anyway, I think they see that, and they're just trying to slowly uh, 
little doses to get their community and i think they want to push away because they all these companies got to see it yeah they got to see the money that can be made look 100%. what adidas has done mm -hmm. they they took two hundred fifty thousand dollars, two hundred fifty k and turned it into like i think like 25 million dollars or something mm -hmm. like that just by wow. taking on an nft i mean it's ridiculous yeah you gotta you gotta be business dead in your head to so not see what's going the on. The way I see it too, like this is early. Like here's the thing is is people that don't know about play to earn gamings or play and earn gaming gaming or NFTs, they see it as this like it's uh oh, it's not gonna work. The, I, the way I look at it, it's like back in the day, okay. I there's clips you can look on the internet if you guys haven't seen this, when the internet was coming out, okay, and people were like, Oh, these things th these people think these computers and this internet is gonna take over the libraries, like never gonna happen. Like libraries have been around forever for thousands of years. This, this internet is not, well, does anybody go to the library anymore? Like you might, you know, but you just go open your computer, you open up a tab and you have all your information right there. So all these yeah. people that were like, oh, the internet's never going to do anything. This is this new wave. Nah, forget it. It's never going to work. Well, look where we are today. So to me, it's like you look at NFT, play to earn, play and earn, whatever you want to look at it, gaming. We're at the early stages. People don't understand it yet. You know, it's, it's, there's, it's at that phase where it's like, oh, it's just, that's not real gaming or whatever. No, 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 no. Well, you know, fast forward a few years and people are gonna be like, wow, as if we didn't do this. Like for me, it doesn't, now all these, now you're seeing all these companies starting to get into the play to earn, uh, gaming and they, you know, they're, look, they're finally seeing like, oh, what are we doing here? We're in the, we're doing this things, things wrong. Cause people look at Fortnite, look at Fortnite. You buy a skin. I'm just gonna use Fortnite as an example. Cause that's what everyone uses. You buy a skin on Fortnite. You don't own that skin. You're, you're giving the company money. You're, you're just wearing the skin till the next one that you like comes out and you buy that one too. And then you buy that one too. And you never, you can't do anything with them. Once you have it, you can wear it. Maybe it sits on the shelf. In this here, whatever you buy, you own. You know, when you buy a skin in Fortnite, they own that skin still. You don't own it. And in, in play to earn, you own what you buy. You do whatever you want with it. When you're done with it, get rid of it. You know, whatever you want to do with it. So mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of these companies are starting to, to open up and see. Like I know Ubisoft's getting into play to earn. And and I understand. I know a lot of people they 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 you know the trip they don't like the triple A, you know, because they don't like the triple A games, they don't want them to come into the, the play space. But you know, I look at it the other way is, is let them come in, let them let's let's grow this space together. I think there's room for everybody, and I think in the future, most games will have a chance for you to earn or own your assets. I mean, I think it's just the only right thing to do, you know. I think it's just the right way to go. But that's all of course speculation, you know. But I think in the future, most games, if not all games, will be this way. And I think it'll just be more normalized. I think right now it's just kind of early and people don't understand, you know? I agree. I yeah, agree it's a lot. just uh you know, early stages, man, early stages bumps. But yeah, like I want to say, man, I think uh, I'm super, super excited that, that we got to like sit here and chat and stuff and, and, and the, the entire project, I am, I'm telling you, man, like I, I'm always saying, I'm always looking at the, the markets. I'm always looking to add more. I'm getting bullish on this thing. Uh, the community's behind it. I'm, in, I'm involved in I try to get involved as many uh, as I can. Um, and if I'm not involved in any of your discords, guys, if you're part of the, uh, the, the GOG community, and I'm not in your Discord or whatever, let me know. Send me a message on Discord. I'll put all my information. I'll put your information down below where to follow you on and all that stuff. And I'll put where you can follow us or reach us. Uh, and, and let me know. I'd love to help uh, get in there and help you guys get boosted or whatever, man. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, is there any... Oh, oh, we're going to be doing a giveaway. What should we do? We have... Okay, so we have a giveaway coming up. I'm going to be giving away um, a hero. I'm going to be giving away... Uh, is it Jermaine? Is that how you say that? I'm going to be giving away one of... So. I'm going to be giving away one of those. Okay, I'm going to be giving away a Jermaine. We're going to do it on Twitter. Let's do it on Twitter. I'm going to make a tweet. So once I post this video, um, let's do this. Leave a comment. So we're going to do, you're going to retweet. I'll, I'll put the the, 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 I'll put the, the things on Twitter. Okay. But leave a comment here. If you've made it this far in the video, put, uh, what do you want to put? GOG family. What are we going to put in the, in the, in the comments? WT, what do you want them to put in the comment? Oh uh, boy. Let's see. Uh, let's do uh. Hmm. Well, you caught me off guard here. Uh, <laughs> Put you on the spot. Ha how about ha hashtag Big D? Hashtag Big D in the chat right here in this yeah. in this video right here. Let us know you made it this far. Hashtag Big D, and uh, you know, let's start with that. Uh, I will be putting a tweet out as well, and uh, yo, let's uh, let's give it away. We're gonna give away a Jermaine. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, you know, kind of a little thank you, and hopefully, you know, I mean, if you're new to the game and you don't have a hero, maybe this is your chance to get your first hero. Um, you know, if you have assets here, here's another hero. There's a chance to win another one. So, uh, is there anything you want to say? Is there anything you want to kind of close out? Anything we we missed? Anything you want to touch up on? I mean, if you want, you know, whatever you want, man. Oh, we could talk about this for hours. I, <laughs> dude, I could do. I could go game. all day. <laughs> uh, no, I just uh, I'm I'm thankful that you uh, allowed me to come on and do this with you. Uh, hopefully, we can do this more in the future. And I would love to. 
Uh, I've already I've already talked to some people and said we we gotta. I know I know you came here on your own, but my first time seeing you on your Twitter and stuff, I absolutely uh, I'm sorry, uh, Twitch. I've seen you on your Twitch. I absolutely love your energy. You are perfect for this community. Thank you, man. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm. You ain't going anywhere. I got my hooks in you now. <laughs> Yo, dude, I don't. I, I've already been speaking to devs and stuff saying, this guy's got to be in here, man. He's he's awesome. He's got tons of energy. He fits perfect. So uh, You're amazing. thank you for coming in the community and uh, already making an impact, in my opinion. So thank you, like man. you said, we're all pushing this rock. And I think you're absolutely, like you like you say all the time, you're a beauty. So, uh, <laughs> You're a beauty. I, I tell you, man, I absolutely love you. Like this, this man right here, I'm telling you, man, this guy right here, if you do not follow him, I'm going to put all his, his, whatever he wants, man. I'm going to put every link he has. We're going to put it in the link below. Please do not just me, do yourself a favor, follow this man. I mean, you're going to learn a lot more than I can teach you on this game. Like I know my stuff in this game. This man is like the encyclopedia. This is the guy. And he's just a really, really, really good guy. Like a great guy. You really want, you know, uh, I, you know, you're one of those guys. As soon as we met, we just clicked and, and I love when I meet people that way. It's so authentic. And it's just like, you just get it. Like we just get each other and we connected. Um, yeah. dude, I would love to do way more of these. I mean, I, I, you say the word, man, I'll do these uh, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, yeah. daily, hourly. I don't care, man. Say the word, man. I'm there for you. I'm there whenever you want. Sounds good. Awesome. All right. So hashtag Big D in the in the in the comments below on the YouTube video, guys. If you made it this far, uh, we will be giving away a Jermaine. Uh, we'll be tweeting it out once I put this video live. Please check out our guy here, man. He's an absolute legend. And uh, dude, I, I I love I love seeing you around, man. You're you're amazing. So thank you. And, and I got to get one of those sweaters, man. I got to find out how to get one of those sweaters. Yeah. I <laughs> got every time I see someone wear it, I get so I'm like, ah, oh, man. There's a I think it's blue. I'm colorblind, so I don't. Know. I think it's blue. A really nice blue one. Uh, I got to get me one of those. I got to get one of everything. I got to, nice. I tell you. So anyway, uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I say it all the time. You're a beauty. Uh, thank you so much for being here and, and putting your time in, man. And just, uh, and all the research, everything you do, not just for the, I'm talking for the community, man. Thank you on behalf of the community. Uh, those, I, I, I look for your price checks every day, man. Every time you put them up, what's up, it's down. I'm like, I, I wait for it every day. I'm like, come on, man. Where is this uh. thing? Come on. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You're awesome, dude. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So if, if there's anything else you want to say, if not, we'll uh, we'll see you guys. If there's anything you want to close out on, you're good? No, I'm good, man. All right, buddy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. Uh, obviously, I got to say, you know, make sure you sub, hit the follow button, hit the like button, all that stuff. And uh, yo, we'll definitely, I'm sure we'll be doing this again, man. I have so much fun talking to you. I could talk, I could talk to you forever, man. I, you know, uh, I got I could talk to you forever. All right, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you soon. Take care. Peace.